Alright guys, first, if you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe, hit the ring the bell button. Uh, today we're going to be repairing the windshield on my 99 Forerunner. Uh, it's got a bunch of cracks in the windshield. Cool thing about these windshields from the factory is they've got a PPG coating. It's a, it's a laminated windshield. I don't think I'll be able to replicate it with a replacement windshield, so I, I want to go ahead and try and replace these little cracks first. There's a bunch of them in the windshield. This one's the most noticeable. Uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in so that you can see it, and I'll also show you the kit that I'm going to try and use uh, for this repair job. Okay, so that's the crack right there. You can see it's it's kind of two, there's, there's two main impact spots and we're gonna use a kit, it's, a, it's an, actually an inexpensive kit that I got off of Amazon uh, with some resin that is going to try and fix these. Okay, so this is the kit that I got off of Amazon. It's a Glisten windshield repair kit. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys something pretty, uh, pretty interesting about this kit which looks pretty comprehensive from what I can tell so far. But I bought this kit for probably 10 bucks, includes some, uh, some tools and some resin and stuff like that. And then inside, there's a get a free gift card. And one of the free gifts you can get is another windshield repair kit for free. So I thought that was kind of interesting. If you guys are gonna repair a bunch of cracks, just order one and then you can get this, uh, get this second one for free. All right, but here's the kit. I'll go ahead and open it up so you guys can see kind of what's inside. Okay, so inside you're gonna have this tool. Essentially what this tool is for, you put it down on top of the windshield here, uh, and then you've got a little applicator thing that holds, holds the glue on. That's what that is. And then you've got the resin itself, pretty small, Pretty small jar. It's got instructions on the on the back side of it, and then you've got your instruction booklet, and kind of hidden away inside here is a razor blade, uh, but it is sheathed, so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. And then as well, you've got some of these plastic cards, and essentially what, what you're going to do is you're going to use this resin to fill the crack, and then once the crack is filled you're gonna put more resin on it and then you put this onto the windshield and that flattens, that flattens it out and makes it so that it dries flat. And then once, uh, once that's on there, then you use the razor blade to scrape it off. But we'll go ahead and, and do the process uh, on these cracks directly. Okay, the first step is to position this directly over the impact point. We'll do the bottom one first. Just like that. Got it centered right on the impact point. And then you use this, you separate these two pieces. And basically what you're doing here is you're making sure that when you drip uh, this stuff into here, it's not gonna fall down the windshield. Okay, once you have this situated on here and it's where you're happy with it right over top, then make sure this is pretty tightly on there. Then you're gonna take the resin and you're gonna put just a couple of drops and you're going to take this and then you wait four to six minutes Okay, because I have two uh, chips in the same spot, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this so I can do the second one. Essentially, you're just going to unscrew this a bit, and then you remove the whole, whole tool. And I'm gonna just replace it 
right over the second one that I have here. Okay, so once you've filled in the crack and you've used, you've used this uh, little tool to pressurize it and, and get as much of the resin in there as possible, uh, you can go ahead and remove it. And you'll probably get a little bit of excess resin dripping out, that's okay. I'm gonna just wipe this part here just because I don't want it dripping down onto the weather stripping. And I'm gonna apply just a little bit onto the indentations. And you can see them up close. It's tough to see them on camera. You can see them up close. And then I'm gonna take one of the sheets like this. Oh, don't drop it. And that's all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right on there just like that. And then what you need to do is you need to put the car in direct sunlight. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that now. Okay, so I let this sit for probably 20 or 30 minutes actually. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off now. That's how it comes off. And then what you're supposed to do is take the razor blade and scrape off any excess. Okay, and that's what it looks like once it's done. I'll see if I can zoom in here. Okay, so that's it. Crack won't spread. Uh, it's reduced a lot in terms of noticeability. Uh, you could still see it, of course, and I, I might do a second second cure on this just to get a little bit more resin in there. Uh, but overall, a lot less noticeable. And probably in passing, you wouldn't be able to tell that something was there. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.